pace out the halls of your lineage once familiar. Now, Oren. One cannot account for how strange it must be to camp by a fire inside an old decrepit ruin. And the first thing that greets you as you open your eyes is the dark ceiling and numerous occultist tomes surrounding you. Strange gems and sarcophaguses. How can one feel an easy night's rest under such conditions? Terrors may indeed stalk these shadows, but yonder, a glint of gold. Welcome back to Darkest Dungeon, everyone. Where we left off, we left a curious locked sarcophagus. To which we find ourselves bus, portraits, and a bit of pocket change. Last episode, you may remember, a secret door marked by the, uh, the gold star. What could be in such a room? Feeling across the wall, Stan pushes his fingertips into a forgotten stone. Sliding the wall open, they step into a most secretive hiding place, filled with old treasures, dead candles, and skulls. This place has not been treaded in for some time, marked by the dust that looms over the surface of every chest in the room. Trinkets and baubles, paid for in blood. We come across two very special trinkets. At the cost of almost insufferable stress, we can have power untold. Furthermore, a puzzling gem worth 2,500 gold a pop. How can one turn away such fulfilling, satisfying trinkets, for the risk may just not be heavy enough to outweigh the reward. What we will do... I believe Dismas, actually, may have been the name of the highwayman at the start of the game, and if so, that's a little bit unnerving. However, we will provide the High Woman with such a weapon. And the Barristan's head for the uh, Stan of Stone. Perhaps they will prove effective. This event, Dolan, will sprinkle holy water upon the, uh, the altar, long corrupted by whatever force is in turn. Oh. I quit my monologuing, for I have to observe this strange machination. A shambler's altar. It says the sacrifice of fire is the gate to ruin. Place a torch if you crave the void. The party steps back and looks at each other in disdain. Such a tasteless, vulgar, occultist altar. In the name of some unholy god, it has been erected here. However, with no experience previously handling those beyond our mortal understanding, we move on. Uncomfortable as we leer over our shoulders at such a strange, odd place. A fort, waiting to be spent. Another trap carefully disarmed, Dolan pumps to himself in victory. We scout ahead and find no combat. How strange. This portion of the ruin must be quite unimportant to the uh, possessing force. We chew on food and look warily upon the dwindling rations. 
packs laid Good and Greg I are often low on supplies. Good and Greg I feels immense shame in this event. For it was their actions as a stress eater that have put them in this curious position. Should we should we dally here much longer? We may incur the wrath of our own stomachs and be eaten from within. A handsome reward for a task well performed. We've managed to come across some extra food. That should last us for the rest of the journey. A strange alchemy table. I would not like to touch such a thing, for I'm uncomfortable with... Well, those of the scientific nature. We don't have much of that out in, uh... Well, the forest. Encountered by two skeletons, they flail their clubs in the sky like barbaric buffoons. But in the face of God and culture, how can such pathetic skeletons remain? Be gone, fiend. We swat them away, like dwindling flies. And in this event, our quest is complete. We have explored enough of the ruins. We need not tre uh, well, trespass any further. But in this event, I feel as though we can push it just that little bit further, if you know what I mean. We scout ahead and find combat afraid, along with a strange curio. How can we turn away? If only treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. Oh. Oh dear. Oh, very dear me. A ghostly wail fills the hall as the rattling head of one known as the Collector approaches, calling upon unholy forces to evaluate our right to live. Perhaps we should go no further. Trembling hands clutch at weapons unprepared for such bizarre occurrences. We are not ready for such combat. We lack subtlety to our strategies. Brute force will not see its way through. The collected highwoman, Vestal and man at arms. The remains of those who have fought the collector before. This skirmish may be lost. But the battle may yet be won. And so we pay the price for our arrogance. Running away, flailing. The Collector remains in the corridor, chuckling evilly to himself. Almost comically so. The great ruins belong to us. And we will find whatever secrets they hold. We decide that living another day would be the best course of action. We have done our part for this ruin adventure. But I feel as though we left something in the face of that demon. Not very useful, either of these. Extra bleed resist, always fantastic. Manslayer, very nice for the bounty hunter. However, the lack of critical definitely needs to go. I can still see their angry faces as they stormed the manor. But I was dead before they found me. And the letter was on its way. <sighs> We've made it. New buildings have found themselves open to us as Citizens find it safer enough to remain. They enter the guild hall, and the blacksmith 
indispensable buildings for the future of our campaign. But first, we must seek some release for the, uh, the poor men and women that suffered in the face of such unholy horrors. A little hope, however desperate, is never without worth. Stan takes recluse in the transept, praying to a higher power. The individuals go among their merry ways, seeking relief from anyone that can provide it. We come our way to the stagecoach to greet any oncoming heroes. However, the choice is, um, not ideal. The bounty hunter comes with some very negative quirks. However, the plague doctor seems alright. The abomination, well, we already have two of those. This could prove, um, difficult to say the least. Especially, um, in the face of Gruss and Gregai, our only known healer. We have no one truly available to ensure that our party returns safely. And that could be, well, bad, to say the least. We spend some deeds and increase the hero barracks. Found even here, in the mud and rain. And we take the abomination of Plague Doctor. Reclusive. This man is more dangerous than he seems. We will not be naming these individuals, for I have other plans for them. Namely, one what might call a suicide mission. And those that remain, well, they will be those known as worthy. We will send them in completely unprepared. And should they return, well, all the more power to them. They came here seeking fame and fortune, so why should I not expect something of them in turn? <laughs> <laughs> a new area has opened itself to us, the world. But the ruin still remains open, should we desire. And the Book of Relaxation, in the face of these new trinkets we have obtained, could prove very useful to mitigate some of the effects, especially Dismas's head. Perhaps that would be well. However, it is a medium quest, we would be better off incurring on a short expedition. We can't expect too much of our new arrivals now, can we? Hmm. Yes. The deeds of the world. Hmm, sound very interesting. A little bit of extra damage for a minus dodge. Hmm, yes. How about it? Our abomination friends, hmm. They can take the front runner. Tuck it out, oh, isn't that a shame? Whether well, uh, much protection lies in wake, how about we put you at the front then? Someone of such a hardy stature should see no problem at the front. Ooh, extra damage in the ruins, you say? Well, too bad we're not going to the ruins, eh? Hmm. What else do we have here? Play grenades. We could also do with a noxious glass. Yes, what we'll do is we'll return and use the guild and use this as a positive example. Make no mistake. We will face ever greater threats. Our soldiers must be ready. What we will do is we will take Browardine, who has not been granted a name, for they are surely not worthy yet. To unlock Noxious Blast, we could spend, actually we will, we will spend a slight amount of portraits and crests in the favour of uh, lowering the cost. The wise hero trains for what he will face. And unlock Noxious Blast to give our character a more offensive property. We'll also unlock Battlefield Medicine. By doing so, We'll give them a more supportive nature. 
Let us see what we could remove. Perfect. How this will turn out is anyone's guess. But you'll have to find out next time, ladies and gentlemen, for whether the Suicide Squad will return. <laughs>